All right, so uh, we have uh, Taurus Sun Moon and as well rising. A weekly love and relationship uh, tarot reading for June 13th to June 19th, uh, 2020. And uh, that being said, guys, if you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out the uh, description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my uh, website. So that left aside, let's see uh, what awaits you throughout uh, that particular week in terms of a relationship life and hopefully love. So we do have the Hierophant as the general topic of uh, the week in terms of love and relationship, followed by the Tree of Wands, which stands as the energy supporting the topic itself. Um, the third one is going to be about the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That will be the Nine of Wands. Fourth card here, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That will be the uh, King of Cups. Then the fifth card, it is how people are going to see you, what kind of impression you're going to leave, uh, leave excuse me, into your beloved one, into your person of interest, you know, or in generally into your social circle. Uh, that will be the four of wands. Afterwards, it is uh, what is going to help your long term love and relationship goal. We have the six of cups. The seventh card here, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the Nine of Cups. And the last one, uh, it will be the guidance that Tara is offering to you, uh, Taurus. We have the Ten Swords. Quite interesting. Okay, so um, it does look like that uh, this week for you, Taurus, it will be a week where you are, uh, how can I say it, transcending. Maybe that's, maybe that's the word that I should use here. It's like transcending into a relationship and love status, if you will. Uh, that is because uh, these two cards here are appearing as a, a primal combo of the reading. And the Tree of Wands is the energies, it's always a uh, energy of growth. And even more over it, it is always a, a growth established on already um, solid patterns. So, in other words, uh, that card represents that you, Taurus, will be able to reap fruits from your previous labor in terms of uh, love and relationship. Or, in other words, whatever you have done recently and whatever decision you have done recently, it was the right action or the right decision for you to do. And now things are to start develop very naturally for you, for your person of interest, for your beloved one, for your husband or a wife. Here with the higher fund uh, on the prime position as a topic of the week, it does look like now uh, higher fund in relationships is always a about trust. It's not about love. Well, love comes on its own accord, but it's uh, it comes on a foundation of trust. So you can expect throughout this week that you and your partner, if you do have such, or you and your person of interest, are going to build up the trust in between one another, or you are going to amplify the trust that you do have in between one another. And if you are completely single, well, then the Hierophant would mean with the Tree of Wands, it is that you can, that you are to find a person that you can trust, okay? What is going to happen in between you and him or her? Well, that depends on how you're going to play your cards, but you definitely are going to have a, an option available. Uh, throughout this week, January 13th to January 19th, 2020. Now, important thing to be said here it is that uh, you have to talk. Uh, that is literally with the half of the tarot cards. But the Hierophant, the resolution of the differences in of the issues in between two people with the Hierophant, they can be resolved by talking, uh, by these um, deeply meaningful conversations, if you will, it is because the resolution, it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel, just on the contrary, it does reside into the already existing framework of relationships. So people have been there, they have overcome it, and it is not something complex, alienated, or it's kind of like it's uh, a, a thing that you yet have to figure out. It's just, you know, you both need to, like said, 
raise the question or raise the issue and you from there the answer will be found almost with the snap of your fingers so that being said you can use that week exactly to uh, resolve differences and issues either into your relationship marriage interaction you know or to just find someone that you have that option uh, for as well now the next one uh, it is the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week that will be uh, the nine of ones so i don't want to go into that extreme but the nine of ones it may reside, especially for those which are single, it is that you may have the impression that that is not the right match for you. Yes, you are going to have trust into that person and yet it may not be the, the right match for you. I don't know why you are going to have that impression. The prerequisites are going to be different for every single one of you. So for those single here, this card points that is going to be a challenging for you to make the union right and for the rest which are already into relationship the challenge is going to be the alignment it's kind of like two people need to be synchronized so the synergy is going to be uh, challenging to be achieved but once again through talking openly with each other and showing a benevolent support to one another cancelling uh, oneself with each other definitely a, a synergy can and should be achieved as well. Now, the next card here, it is the gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy for throughout the week. Now, we do have a the King of Cups. And this is the gift and the blessing of a deep and very tamed emotions, okay? So, if we're talking about love, this is the gift and the blessing of very deep and stable love. Okay, if we're talking about interaction, then this is a the gift and the blessing of very deep and strong, stable interaction. It's not like you are kind of like you're interested, interesting to someone, and as soon as they lose their interest, they leave you for good. It's that that's not the case with the King of Cups. It's just it's about devotion all right so that is the gift and the blessing that you can enjoy now additionally to that should this be a person for those who are single well then that points to a a person who how can i say who the emotions they have towards you are special and for them okay they are special for them and for that reason they hold those emotions or something as something sacred and they're not showing those emotions to everybody they're just showing those emotions only to you and that may confuse you it is because giving you an example you are alone with each other and that person shows how much they love you and next next minute you are among social circles and that person seemingly gives an impression that he does not care about you once again it is because they keep their emotions sacred they don't want to see they don't want to display them in front of everybody, but just in front of you. So the next card here, it is how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression you are going to leave among people. That will be the four of ones. And this is the impression of obviously completion, but four of ones into relationship, it is like uh, that you have completed a, uh, a run through. Are, are run through run through it's like you have struggled toiled um slogged for to have a, a a position or a relationship in a certain way and you finally are having it or you are very close to have it and therefore people were seeing you rewarded or that kind of an impression they have that you are finally going to be rewarded for your hard work to please someone or to catch the attention of someone or just to improve your marriage or to improve your relationship. In other words, people are going to see you as a celebrating person, as a, someone who enjoys the time beneath the sun into the position that you are in. Again, this is how people are going to see you. It doesn't mean that you are going to be in that state, but it is very likely that you are going to be in it. Otherwise, you are going to be quite of an exceptional actor, isn't it? So the next one, um, it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal? 
and we do have the Six of Cups. Relationship-wise, Six of Cups, it is all about physical and emotional contact. So you like someone, you be with them physically as well, okay? It's just as simple as that. Don't play the games of the cat and mouse. It's because these days they are very common, isn't it? It's like you like someone, but yeah, again, you're stubborn and you don't make contact. You kind of like avoid them for some reason. I don't know. I'm, I don't know why men and women are doing that. It makes things so complicated. So this is what exactly you should not do. You need to keep the things simple. You like someone, you try to be with them or you show that you want to be with them. Okay. I mean, physically. And things should resolve into uh, into that direction. Additionally to that, what I can say to the Six of Cups, it is that you have to aim low. What I mean it is that your expectations need to be low from a standpoint that... Um, I don't know how to explain. Well, I will say it that way. Enjoy the small things in life or the small things that one relationship or interaction or one person can present to you. You know, for example... Uh, one person gifts you Lambo, the other one has a, a bucket of flowers for you, you know, and you, you need to take both equally. Doesn't matter that one gift costs half a million and the other costs like a $50, right? It's just enjoy the small things. I mean, it's, it's something like this with, uh, with the Six of Cups. That's why you need to keep your expectations low and if your husband for example gives you a plow a, a flower enjoy enjoy it instead of you know being disappointed that, that he doesn't gift you a, a lambo so uh the other one here it is what is gonna hurt your long-term love and relationship goal and we do have the nine of cups and that is quite peculiar having it here guys now nine of cups here uh, Nine of Cups points to the satisfaction and the, uh, how can I say it, um, the fullness of life through exhilaration and through seeing that your things are coming through. And from there, where one it, it needs to secure on those things. But in that particular case, we're talking about the lifted expectations. Okay, so that being said, especially for those tourists which are to start yet a new relationship, you have to take it slow, especially with the Hierophant. The Hierophant, it is like step by step. You can't cut any corners. I mean, the routine, it is already preset of how one family is going to form. You first get to know each other, you get to hang out together, you get to date, first kiss, first um, uh, romantic dinner, um, first sleeping with each other and so on and so forth. You can't just get to know each other or kind of like introduce to one another and get pr proposed two days later, all right? So cutting corners with this interaction that you may have throughout this week, it's not advisable at all and the last one it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you Taurus uh, we do have the ten of swords so ten of swords uh, it's kind of like urges you to well I would say throw yourself into it because uh, ten of swords it is that retrospective uh, or retrospect and the clean cut from the past, if you will, it is like you make a retrospection of all the relationships or all the interactions that you had up until now. You make a note of all of them and you are ready to, or you are going to be ready to put a closure on those, uh, let's say, poignant experiences or poignant thoughts that those experiences are giving you and therefore being able to embark a new era into one's life. Now, this new era into your romantic and relationship life can only be embarked if you are ready to make the irrevocable decisions and as well to do the irreversible actions of, for example, being with someone new or to trust someone as well. Because this is what the week is all about for you in terms of love and relationship. That love can only grow from trust, or at least for you, throughout this week, uh, January 13th to January 19th. So if you don't trust someone, no matter how much you love them, you have to give yourself a break, at least 
for the week. So yeah, uh, that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Hope hope you enjoyed it, uh, guys. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can jump to my website, which link you can find in the description down below. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.